In early societies, the role of the artist, historian, and poet were usually rolled into one person. This person was a storyteller, counselor, and transmitter of the tribe's memories. In contemporary Dominica, all these roles again fall into a single person, Lennox Honeychurch. The Anthony and Sabga Caribbean Awards for Excellence 2011 Laureate in Public and Civic Contributions. He's an icon of Dominica and he contains within his, his brains and his photographs and his slides a lot of the historical um, aspects of Dominican life. Anytime I have a question about anything in Dominica, I consult Dr. Honeychurch. It is difficult to find a single part of Dominica's life that Honeychurch has not been intimately involved in. He has been its historian, archaeologist, activist for First Peoples, a restorer of its architectural heritage, and as an elected representative in its parliament of 1975, he was a member of the team that negotiated for Dominica's independence. Honeychurch's involvement with the Caribbean goes back nearly 300 years. His ancestors were here from the 18th century and he recalls accompanying his parents to all corners of the island and being made to understand the importance of everything. Well, from childhood I was very fortunate, having been born in Dominica, uh, to parents and grandparents who had a great awareness of the island. And so in being brought up, I was taken basically to lots of areas uh, around Dominica and, and educated, told about them, uh, what their names were, historical associations and this kind of stuff. My grandmother, uh, she had been a writer and was the first woman in the Caribbean ever to be elected to parliament. Elma Napier was her name. Going with her on the new roads that were being constructed in the 1960s uh, and the uh, new developments that were taking place at that time, I learned a lot about the past and what was going on and of course observed the changes that were taking place. So all of this really had an impact on me early in life of um, the island, the wider Caribbean, and also the contribution that one should make to uh, your community. He began his working life as a broadcast journalist and began to do public education programs. These formed the basis of a series of textbooks called The Caribbean People, which is now a standard for regional secondary schools. He had still not yet attended university. Based on his work, he was awarded a Chevening Scholarship to Oxford University in the 1990s, where he attained a doctoral degree in anthropology and studied museology. When he returned to Dominica, he immediately began applying his knowledge at the Dominica Museum in Roseau, and he single-handedly began work on the Fort Shirley ruins. Today, the restored buildings are the centerpiece of the Cabritz National Park in Dominica. Dr. Honeychurch has been involved in important restoration work in Dominica through the years, um, restoration of important heritage sites in Dominica and also the setting up of museums as well here in Dominica. Honeychurch also managed to write other books on Dominica's history, culture and arts. One of his areas of focus was the Kalinago First Peoples. His master's and doctoral theses at Oxford were on the Kalinago peoples and he has done extensive work in the Kalinago territory, developing its visitor center and working with the people. He has always been supportive of the educational efforts that we made in informing our people of their history. As we see him as one of the foremost historians in the country and he has always been willing to give us this time to be able to inform and educate particularly our young persons about the history, their own history and the history of the island. Dr. Honey Church is very much in demand to go from village to village to tell the people and educate them about the history of the village. Honey Church is also linked with the University of the West Indies as a tutor and researcher. He was instrumental in organizing the first academic conference on Dominican writer Jean Rees. Dr. Honey Church, I think, is is your the epitome of of, of versatility. Um, you know, on, on depending on the day you meet him, you know, you could call him anthropologist, uh, archaeologist, historian, 
I, I, I would call him a, a social scientist. And, and I think it, it just speaks to the, the depth um, and the width, in a metaphoric sense, of the gentleman, really. Most Dominicans know him very well for that wonderful book called The Dominica Story. But apart from his formal academic efforts, Honeychurch is also a painter in his own right, and several of his murals decorate public buildings and churches in the island. He is also a carnival artist. In essence, he's an indispensable part of our history and our current culture. It is for these reasons, for his outstanding contributions to the history and heritage of the people of Dominica and the Caribbean, that Dr. Lennox Honeychurch has been named the Anthony N. Sabga Caribbean Awards for Excellence 2011 Laureate in Public and Civic Contributions.